joining and sitting with all, all the different stakeholders here one of the things that came through was that you know the original dream that mother had and that's how everything it was it was not about it was about a a, a city uh, or oroville as as a place where you would have a population of about uh, 50000 is what she had envisaged and that's how we'd gone about procuring all this land and most of it in the you know inner the the city we have procured nearly 80% plus of the land more than that actually and and therefore uh, whereas the population actually is much less than that as we have it now and the idea was to manifest or help manifest a, a city which would really um, uh, you know be a beacon for the rest of humanity the rest of the world and that is why this this whole this was something that was so close to the mother and she worked on it making it happen and so um one of the things that um, i i felt we we should be doing as as one got uh, you know involved with this in the beginning was about trying to understand the crown and uh, and i did realize that uh, there may be a lot of uh, um issues within oroville which which need to be harmonized and unless we all collectively come together uh, it may be difficult and so uh, maybe while figuring out what are all the issues maybe one of the things that we placed our finger on uh, without realizing it was something which may have been a little contentious but i think the good news is that because sometimes if you crack a difficult problem then i think a, a lot of other things start falling in place so i must say that it started with the crown walk and then after that as we have been having series of meetings with all the stakeholders different people i think slowly we are coming closer and closer to that uh, possible solution of course it's it's always a question of both sides everybody all the parties giving in a little bit if we do that it will really help the city manifest and really um, make it Uh, make the dream of the mother I mean, what what the charter said what was her what what was it that she envisioned envisioned really take shape so i think this is something that uh, uh, i realized but if we crack this i also realize that a lot of uh, this conversations or communication across different groups probably for whatever reason over time had probably got ossified and there wasn't this really open space for communication which started but then there are also being a small community of about 3000 people we all have our um, imprints our views counter views etc so it 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 will also take some time for all of that to get healed uh, but i also realize that here there is i mean this force of mother which is working and it it will manifest it has to manifest uh, but but we have to be open sort of for it to really happen and i think we are pretty much there and looking at the way we are getting response now from so many corners of course this is not to say that everything is hunky dory but there are uh, challenges but i think it's work in progress and i must say that we've come a long way from where we started during the crown walk uh, and if we are able to crack this i think it will be a big 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 step forward for oroville as a whole and and the other uh, thing is about this multiversity we realize that oroville was uh, envisaged by the mother as a center of unending learning and learning not just vidya uh, you know avidya and vidya as we sh- we said that not just on the physical plane but then uh, the the spiritual plane as well so it 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 really has to be an interplay of this and in that context too i see that uh, this whole idea of the multiversity that is taking shape because every literally every entity in oroville is a place which which is so full of possibilities for learning and if we are able to make that available for people in oroville as well as people from outside online on site a combination of it but curated properly i think it will be a huge contribution uh, for the rest of the world and in the process i think oroville too will will benefit tremendously from it so i think these are one easy and which appears easy now god knows maybe because all this is uh you know we were all working in in the plane uh, of possibilities and it it's it's rife with so many dynamic things but i'm absolutely hopeful that collectively with with an amazing set of people who are here i think each one of them has given up all those comforts of life elsewhere 
to come here and really create, co-create something uh, new for the whole of humanity. So I think uh, if, if we all collectively are able to crack some of these things, of course, with her grace, we, we could be a beacon for uh, many other things to manifest. 